Hey guys, it's Amy and Zoe Beck, and I thought I'd try something a little different today. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to go, so I'm just going to do this and see what happens. So, um, I haven't done any huge uh, reviews yet on anything. I do my small and my wrap-ups, or talk about something I had did one gush one on my uh, Tad Williams, uh, The Witchwood Crown, because I just adored that book. Anyway, in that series. So, um, today I want to talk about a book I just finished yesterday, and I'm still blown away by it. But um, I kind of wanted to bring in the series so far um, because it does make kind of a difference in, in how I think um, some people um, may not read the second book, even though it is so good. So the first book was To Like the Lightning by Ada Palmer. My hair is everywhere. Anyway, um, I read this book in July for my book group. And it was a book I had to read, even though I'd owned it for a couple months before that, because I bought it right before we chose this as our July pick. And I was so looking forward to reading this. So again, this is a story about um, the future, like a utopian kind of isk, uh, about 300 years into the future where there are flying cars and there are no real um, boundaries of um, countries anymore. They're more split up into hives or um, seven groups of people who decide to uh, fit, you know, partner up and say they are part of this part, they are either utopian, or they are the masons, or they are um, the humanists, and they all have different things they focus on. So people are, when they come of age, are able to choose which um, group, which hive that they want to join. So it kind of takes out a lot of conflicts, because people can make their own families. Um, I mean, some keep in family groups, within those groups, but then some of them are able to go out and make their own families by, you know, because they think the same things. So, um, the world has gone without war for about 300 years, I think it says. And, um, this follows, um, the narrator is a criminal who is now a servitor or somebody who has to serve everybody else. And, uh, you know, he doesn't, he just has to, he gets fed and had gave him shelter, but mostly, you know, he has to work like all the time because he, uh, can do what they say pretty much because he's, uh, trying to make up for his crimes. And we don't find out until probably about three quarters of the way through here, what he actually did. Wasn't a huge surprise to me by then. I, I mean, I think it's still a surprise what exactly, but I wasn't like, it didn't shock me. I kind of knew it was going to be something close to that. I thought it was going to be, I mean, not close to that, but at least I kind of had hints, but I think, um, Still, even though I knew not to trust the narrator because he was a criminal and things, I still think this history, it's kind of a history of a few days um, of this conflict um, of everything that's going on in this world that's not used to having that much conflict. So, um, To Like the Lightning was really weird in the way that it focuses a lot on uh, politics and um, they, it has to really do with the theft of a list it's called the 710 list. And it says um, the seven of the most important people, and it goes up to ten, but the seven are the top of the people who are the most influential throughout the whole world. Now, again, um, it was really interesting. It was, and it kind of got bogged down in all this um, theory and stuff of why you would choose this leader over this one. And but um, this, so this book is a real setup book, I think, in dealing with the world and what is actually going on. And um, why after the events in this book why you know things are shaken um into the next book so i did really enjoy this book i gave it a four out of five stars um i started out with a three and a half three and three quarters and then i i definitely decided it was worth the four i enjoyed it enough and i was thinking about it afterwards and still had so many questions because it i mean i knew it was a series because i knew the second book was already out and I knew that there's at least going to be three or four more. And um, I think someone told me it might be a six book series, but I'm not sure. I just know there's at least another book coming out, a third one coming out in November or December. So, um, but I, so I enjoy this book and I was one of the ones in the meeting who, who really did actually finished it and enjoyed it um, and said, I would probably read on. So I, um, cause I'd already bought this one. I just, then the other one's in hardback. So I, Got it from my library. So it took a little while to get it from my library. And then it came, of course, right before vacation. So I didn't take it on vacation at the end of July. And then in August, I kind of put it off, you know. Anyway, so I finally got seven uh, surrenders. Again, this is book two. Oh, this uh, series is called Terra Ignota. Ignota, I think is it. Sorry, hold on. I need to take a drink. 
anyway, <laughs> I'm dying here. Um, so this is um, book two. And I picked this up. I wasn't sure I was going to like it. So I got it from the library again, as I said. And um, I decided um, I had to get through all my library each last week and this week because they're all due. <laughs> so I uh, started reading this one because this is one that's due tomorrow, actually. So I started this and I, I mean, I mean, within pages, I was sucked in and I was hooked. And even though this still took me several days to read because, I mean, it's only 360 pages, but it was so dense. It's not written really lightly or... Um, it's, I mean, the, the text is pretty dense and, um, in the way that, um, there's just so much going on. And if you miss, if, if you scan ahead or, or skipped, you are not going to enjoy this book. You need to read all of it because it goes, so many things happen so quickly all the time. I thoroughly enjoy this book. I gave it a five stars. And the reason I'm going to say that is because, um, it built on everything in book one to a way that. I did not expect all the reveals that were in this book. Like I, I was stunned every couple of pages. There was something new and twisted in a way that I did not expect. It went, it was so over the top in some ways, but it was so good because it made sense from something you'd read in the other book. So I don't want to get spoilery here at all. Um, I don't want to ruin this book because it was just so fantastic. So um, I don't know how to put this out there without you know, giving too much away. I do want to say that um, this went in, in directions I did not expect. There were a few that I did. I actually, you know, I guessed a few things. It took a while to get them or for that to happen, but I, you know, I kind of guessed a few, but I would say majority I did not guess, or I didn't think it would go that way, or something happened that never crossed my mind. Like, I forgot all about that. And then, um, you know, so it was, it was, it was great fun because I was, you know, making noises to myself going, oh, you know, or, oh, I didn't know that, or, oh, I knew that, yay, and, you know, I congratulate myself. So I, as I said, I really enjoyed this, and I will definitely be getting the third book um, coming in December, because I want to see what happens after this, because, again, this was good for me all the way up until the very end. Now, again, I'm going to put a little thing up here, because I don't know how, I don't want to ruin this for anybody, and I've been pretty good up to this point. So I'm going to put up this little thing. So um, if you don't want to hear this part, just click away. So I'm going to put up spoilers and then I'm going to talk here. Okay. So I love this book all the way through to the end until the very end when a certain character dies. Now, I don't want to go into, again, this is still not too spoilery, but I don't want to, because again, a lot of people are going to die through, through these books and stuff. And there are certain things that happen. This one I did not expect. And I am not seriously happy about it. Um, another part of the, the, the books I do not enjoy is that um, the descriptions talk about Bridger being so important and he is so little in all these books in the in the two, these two books and he is the kid who can make any like an inanimate object come to life and he can has these powers and um, I just want to I just things happen in the end and I understand again I get it I get why it happens that way but that doesn't mean I have to like it so um, I still gave it a five stars even considering that but Anyway, um, okay. So, okay. The point is, what I want to say is that as much as I love this whole, and it says one little thing happened in the end that I did not like, but that did not detract my enjoyment of this whole book because I understood what the author was doing. So, or I know kind of why that at least could go in that direction. I didn't, I didn't have any inkling. Don't, don't get me wrong. I had no idea. It went in a direction I didn't know at all. So, um, I'm really looking forward to the third book, as I said. It's really, um, I want to know if other people enjoyed the second book as much. Because, again, my book club did not enjoy book one very much. I mean, there's only a few of us who said that we liked it. And only a few, you know, even a smaller few said we'd continue on. So my next group, I'm going to ask who actually read the book or is still planning to. <coughs> but anyway, um, that's kind of it. Um, I don't know if this helps anybody or not to actually go forward and read this series. As I said, the first book, I think if you've already read it and you're kind of on the fence, take a chance on the second book. Seven Surrenders was completely worth it. And I enjoyed that book all the way through because it was just a page turner. I mean, it was like I had to make myself go to bed every night because I'm like, I wanted to read and I just, I couldn't. Um, and if you've not read To Like the Lightning, I still say give it a chance. If you like political intrigue in kind of um, 
it's kind of said this is a futuristic utopian, but I think it's um, still worth it. I just, um, it's not something I normally thought I would pick up. It was just very interesting. I, I, I'm glad I read that first book. And I'm really glad I picked up the second book. So anyway, if you have any comments or have read the books, let me know. What did you think? I mean, am I the only one who really enjoyed the second book? I mean, way more than first book, even though I gave that a good rating. I just, it was awesome. And I just wanted to kind of talk about it. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.